But for those of you who, who are new to this group, let me explain what protandum is and what it does. Protandum is a NERF2 activator, and I realize that doesn't say anything to you guys if you're not a biochemist or a, a, have a PhD in some biomedical science. But I'm going to tell you very briefly what a NERF2 activator is and what it does. It can be viewed as a biochemical wake-up call. It, literally, these substances are messengers. And the way protandum acts, and many of you have seen this before, but this is the, the single summary slide of what protandum does when it approaches a human cell. And so in the upper right there, you see something labeled protandum. You've just taken a protandum. It's found its way into your bloodstream. It's reaching every cell in your body. And when protandum approaches any human cell, there are receptors on the surface of that cell. It's the analogy I use. It's like protandum steps on your front porch, and it rings your doorbell. What happens inside that cell is there's a change occurring, just like when your chime goes off or your doorbell rings. Pushing the button outside has caused a change inside. In this case, an enzyme has been activated. An enzyme is a machine that does something chemically within the cell. In this case, it's a kinase. You don't have to remember that. And here it's signified by being activated. It turned yellow, but now it's turned on by protandum. What does it do? Well, the important uh, player here is that little red circle labeled NERF2. That's the, the biochemical messenger that needs to send information to the DNA in the nucleus of every cell in your body. And it's being held outside. The messenger is stuck to a blue protein there called KEEP1. And that complex is modified by this kinase. And what you can see is a little yellow group was added to NERF2. It's been chemically modified. So that activated enzyme caused by protandum ringing the doorbell, if you will, has modified NERF2, changed its structural shape. It looks different to the blue protein that's holding it. And as a result, the blue protein lets go of the, of the NERF2. The blue protein, by the way, is stuck to the skeleton of the cell, so it's outside the nucleus. And that's where it's been holding NERF2. Now that NERF2 has been modified, it's released by the blue protein, and it's free to diffuse into the nucleus of every cell where the DNA resides. The DNA is the master blueprint for that cell, contains the plans for producing everything that cell needs to make. When protandum goes in there, sorry, when NERF2 goes in there, it now has access to 25,000 genes that are in the nucleus of every cell in your body. And about four or 500 of those genes have receptors where that NERF2 can bind and act. You can think of it as a key and a lock, or you can think of it as a, an electrical switch that gets flipped. The NERF2 finds the 500 genes that it can modify. It binds to them. It turns on that gene. And the end result is all 500 of those genes upregulate the thing that they encode, the blueprint for, for which they are for some product that the cell makes. So in this case, protective enzymes are produced in response to protandum. That's how it works in a nutshell. The actual biochemistry is a little more complicated, but not much. That's really, that's, and seriously, that's very close to the way I would explain this to my peers. That's what protandum does. It activates NERF2. The cell makes more of its protective survival-related enzymes.